Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. I'm Darren Ganji here with another E3 2014 special report. And this one's on the PlayStation 4 version of Project Cars. And got to try it with a gamepad, unfortunately. Uh, I was hoping that there would be a wheel set up, but I was actually told by somebody here in the community that it would be available with a gamepad. Sure enough, it was. Behind closed doors, uh, this was not available on the E3 general floor. So unless you had access to this particular Sony PlayStation room, people didn't get to see it. So I don't know how many other people had a chance to, to grab some footage of it, but I did. Uh, was able to run a quick race, three lap race at Brands Hatch in the Mercedes SLS AMG GT3 car. Two other types of cars were on the track, a Janetta and a uh, BMW Z4 GT3 car. So it was a little GT3 class race, short version of Brands Hatch. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys that race. I did a little commentary to go along with it. Unfortunately, you can't hear the game. The sound was completely turned down and it was in a room with a lot of other people and a lot of other games being played. So I'm sure they didn't want cars roaring in that particular room. So I had no sound, which made driving with the gamepad even more difficult. I think all assists were off, at least a good majority of them were because it was not easy. And I got some footage of me fumbling here, driving that Mercedes. It took me a couple tries just to get a complete race in uh, without completely tanking it. So I apologize for my lack of driving skill. Did my best considering this gamepad. I am not a good gamepad driver. I mean, I guess I could be if I really spent some time and worked on my muscle memory as far as that goes. But man, wheel and pedals, whole other story for me, you know, compared to a gamepad. So here's my quick race. Gonna show it to you guys. Got the sound turned down from the video footage. Oh, I also like to say my, my video quality, this is not a direct capture. This was me basically filming an LCD, you know, similar to this. I think I went a little too close up and you can see some lines going down the screen. So my camera footage does not do the video, the, the game justice as far as what I was seeing from my eyes. So anyway, here's my quick race. And then when I'm done, gonna come back here and tell you a little bit more about what I thought. Okay, so here we go. I was waiting for the lights to go green. Three lap race. I'm in the Mercedes, as I'd mentioned. Uh, there's a Janetta is one of the cars and BMW Z4 GT3 car. Uh, one of my favorite effects that I, I after watching this, to see the, the uh, backfires coming out of the exhaust. Uh, that's really neat. I really like the lighting effects. And uh, so as we're coming into uh, turn two, I believe here at Brands Hatch. And I have to say, man, oh, got a hit there a little bit. Got me sideways. I was lucky to be able to hold on, man, because I am, I am not a good gamepad driver at all. It took me a few tries to get a good feel for this. And you know, I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't think there was any assists on because it was definitely a handful. So luckily it was only the short version of Brands Hatch, so I didn't, uh, didn't have to go back on that back section, which is definitely adds some, uh, definitely adds a little bit tougher experience to it. So AI was pretty good. You know, I, I, they weren't uh, too aggressive, but they were aggressive enough to make it very challenging. Uh, I definitely struggled to get to the front of the pack here, but again, running with a gamepad is not easy. So on lap two up, bump the back of that guy. Just trying to stay on track here to finish this race. But uh, cockpit visuals look amazing. You know, I love how the hands move. Steering wheel, bump the back of that guy too. Oh, off track, held on to it. As I finish lap two. Looked like they had any kind of uh, UI turned off too to make it more of a sim experience. And uh, so here's the beginning of lap three. Final lap, see if you can take the guy in front. The message just said. And I was doing all I could just to hold on to this thing. Beast of a car too, man. This was not an easy car to drive. 
And oh, lost it a little bit into this little sign there. Saw it go flying. Love the shadows though. Shadows looked really good. The lighting, uh, and, you know, considering this is on a console, you know, I think they're doing a really good job. 16 cars were on track during this race. I didn't see any hiccups as far as frame rates go. Cool dirt coming off the car in front of me there. So it looks like I'm going to make a pass coming to the start finish line and that's going to do it. Got up to sixth. You can see the grid here and uh, you can see the part of it's cut off, but there were 16 cars. That was about it. So there was my uh, three lap race at Brands Hatch in the Mercedes AMG car. And again, there's a, a splash screen. It's going to be available November 2014. So there you have it. I did okay, finished six. So I was able to make my way up through the field a little bit, 16 cars. Uh, and, you know, it was not easy. It, it was definitely, that car was a handful. And I would imagine with a wheel where I could feel force feedback and I could feel, you know, the physics, the tires, I probably could have done a lot better. But anyway, did the best I could there. Hopefully you guys don't beat me up too bad, but I, I tried my best. Uh, I have to say, it looked amazing uh, on the PS4. Graphically, the lighting, the shading as far as the shadows go, uh, the backfires, as I mentioned during the drive, coming out of the, the exhaust pipes. Everything looked really cool. 16 cars on the track, the mirrors, uh, high detail in the mirrors, and it didn't seem to affect the frame rate at all. So they've done a really good job of optimizing this thing for the PlayStation 4. And looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like across the board, especially going to some of the larger tracks. I'm hoping, you know, tracks like Nordschleife and everything I'm seeing on the PC that I've been running lately uh, is going to be on the PS4 version. But uh, graphically, yeah, it looks great. Cars, car models look great. That particular version of Brands Hatch seemed pretty spot on compared to what I've tried, let's say, in iRacing, where I know that's laser scanned. Uh, Again, it was hard to tell what the physics were like. They seemed really good, but it was hard to tell driving with a gamepad. I believe there was rumble. I, I don't recall, but uh, and gamepad driving, I got to hand it to you guys out there that drive with a gamepad. It, it definitely takes some skill to do everything with your fingers versus driving it like a real car. So uh, I have to say, if you're a PlayStation 4 owner and you felt a little left out as far as racing titles go, this is definitely one that you're going to be able to look forward to. Uh, you know, right now all that's out on the PlayStation 4 is MotoGP. Just did a piece on that, MotoGP 14, and a Need for Speed title that is definitely more gamepad related. I'm assuming this is going to be compatible with the Thrustmaster T300 that's coming out, and I believe the T500 is also, actually I know the T500 is compatible uh, on the PS4, but I'm not sure if Slightly Mad's going to program for it. I'm assuming that they are or at least make it available, uh, because I know the T300 is PlayStation 4 specific, and I would assume that it's going to be compatible with this title. If not, man, slightly mad's missing out, but I, I would assume it's going to be. And I have to say, I, I would imagine Turn 10 and Polyphony, you know, the makers of Forza 5, the Forza series, and the Gran Turismo series, they have to be keeping an eye out on the progress of this title, because... This title is going to give them a run for their money, and it's coming out on both systems, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and it's going to be available on the PC. So a lot of options there for this title, and it's definitely more on the sim side. If you people, if some of you out there were thinking that this is just going to be a new iteration of, of the Shift series, the Need for Speed Shift series that Slightly Mad developed, think again. This is definitely going to be more on the sim side. Uh, almost a pure simulation, I would see, say, pure racing simulation. And hopefully we're going to see all the tracks that we've been seeing, you know, on the, uh, on the PC side make its way onto the console. Not going to be able to race as many guys, you know, or girls uh, online on the consoles. I think 16 is going to be the max. And I believe I thanked, or I talked to Andy Tudor. I, I asked him about that. And actually, I, I said thanked him. But I'd like to thank Andy Tudor, who works with uh, Slightly Mad, for taking me over to check this out. I actually did another piece uh, on uh, World of Speed 
that Slightly Mad's developing, and that's going to be out here soon from, from E3 2014. But, and he was a cool guy. It was cool to finally meet him in person. Uh, Andreas in Germany met him at Gamescom, I think it was a few years back now, and, and interviewed him about Project Cars. So it was cool to meet him in person, and he knew who I was right away. I knew who he was, and it was almost like we had known each other for a while. But really cool, personable guy. And hey, Andy, if you're watching, it was great to meet you. And thank you again for uh, taking me over to see Project Cars and giving me some insight into World of Speed. So that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this look at Project Cars on the PlayStation 4. Come to our website. We'd love to have you there on our forums, checking out our news. i got a link right here. You can click on it, as a matter of fact, if you're on your PC, and there's an annotation that will take you right to our website. If you're not, and you're on a tablet or uh, on your mobile phone, Come visit us at isrtv.com. We'd love to have you over there checking things out and join in on the conversation at our forums. Uh, also, speaking of conversation, come over to Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to hear what you have to say about this title and anything else that we covered on the hardware or software side. All of our news is cross-posted over at Facebook and Twitter, so please come join us. Take, you know, We'd love to hear what you have to say. That's going to wrap things up for this E3 2014 special port on the PlayStation 4 version of Project Cars. Can't wait to try it some more. Can't wait to try it with a wheel. So that's going to wrap things up. I'm Darren Ganji. I'll see you guys next time.